Hey all you cool cats and kittens, have I got the perfect project for you today. Sorry, I couldn't help it. But if you are a cat lover, come on over and make this cute little kitten project you're sure to love. And I'm guessing you already have the yarn in your stash. So let's get started. So this pattern calls for a worsted weight yarn. I went ahead and found Red Heart with Love in my stash that I think will work great. It calls for three ounces of gray and a small amount of brown, which I happen to have. But remember, cats come in all different colors, so feel free to use what other color you would like, and especially if you want to make it match your own cat you may have at home. You will also need an H hook, some wiggly eyes, um, some satin ribbon if you would like to do a bow, a two inch post-it note if you are turning this into a notepad, a pencil, and also you'll need two pieces of the Chanel stem. This is what will hold your pencil to the cat holder. And then you will also need a hot glue gun and a tapestry needle. Now this is made in a few different parts. You've got your body, you've got your body, your tail, your head, and then you've got like the details of the facial features and finishing. These pieces are glued together. But what I want to cover today so that you can jump into this is working in the round. Now there's two ways to get started, so I want to show you how to do that. To get started, I have some gray yarn and I'm going to create a slip knot and place this on the hook. Now first we're going to do the directions that the pattern calls for, and that is to chain four and this is creating the body, so the first part of the instructions. And in the fourth chain from the hook, we will double crochet 11 into that chain. Now it has you join to the top of the chain two. So your first chains do count as a stitch. This will make it so that there are 12 total stitches. So I'm simply going to join with a slip stitch. So I enter into the top of those chains. I yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. And that joins with a slip stitch. And now we have 12 stitches around our circle. Now for, for round two and three, we will simply chain three and we're going to be working around in this circle. So every time you work around, you join just like so you'll chain three and then you'll work around again. But I wanna show you a different way to start. So the way I started might leave a little hole in the center of your work. If this drives you crazy like it does me, there's another way to do it. If this doesn't drive you crazy, that's totally fine. You can also take the tail end of your work and you can weave it through and close up that hole to be nice and tidy. But I wanna show you a really cool thing called the magic circle. To do the magic circle, we're going to start in a similar way where we're going to loop our yarn and we're going to bring it through almost as if we were going to do a slip knot, except we're not gonna close anything. We're going to place our yarn, our hook into this loop. Now, normally we might close this down, but that's not what we're going to do yet. We're not creating a slip knot. We're going to take our working yarn and we're actually going to tighten the working yarn around our hook a little bit with these, this loop remaining open and our tail end hanging out. We're gonna use that guy later. So now we will chain three. So we're going to pretend that this circle is our fourth chain from the hook. So instead of chaining four and working into the first chain, we're doing this really cool loop here and we're going to work into this loop. So now I will double crochet 11 and I'm double crocheting around both strands, my tail end and the loop strand. And now that I've got 11 double crochet stitches worked around my tail end and this loop strand, this is where the magic happens. This is why it's called the magic circle. I'm simply going to take my tail end and pull it out of that circle. And now I can simply tighten it down. And as I pull this tail end, notice how it just diminishes that loop. I usually like to then leave a little bit of slack here and join. So we will join to the top of our chain three. with a slip stitch 
And now I'm going to really tighten and pull my tail end and close that circle. Do you see how tight and neat that is? And now I just simply weave in my tail end and I can continue on creating this kitty note holder. Now complete your kitten body by simply working four rounds and you'll be increasing as you do it. But I'm going to skip to the kitten's cute little head because that also uses rounds one and two of the body. So we're simply repeating those. So we've already got our first round for the head and now we're going to do our second round. To begin the second round, we will chain three, which counts as our first double crochet stitch. And then we are going to double crochet into the same. And then we are going to place two double crochets in each stitch around. So two double crochets in each stitch. This will increase our stitch count from round one, we had 12 stitches. And after round two, we will have 24 total stitches in the round. As we come to the end of round two, we will simply join by chaining, by doing a slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Now this next part is a part I wanna go over because we're creating the ears. So for this very first stitch, we will chain two. And now we are going to do a double crochet And we're going to chain one and then it has a slip stitch into the top of the double crochet. So right in the double crochet we just worked, we want to do a slip stitch. And then we will double crochet and half double crochet and all of this is worked into the same stitch. And notice what that just did for us. That just created our very first ear, cute little ear there. For the next three stitches, we will single crochet in each of those. And now for the next ear, we are going to do a half double crochet and then we are going to double crochet, chain one, slip stitch back into that double crochet, place another double crochet, and then a half double crochet. And remember, all of this is worked into the same stitch. And that is our second year. Now we can kind of see how this mimics a kitten's head. Now around the rest of these, we will simply slip stitch in each stitch around. When we get to the end, we can always finish by joining with a slip stitch and then the instructions are to fasten off and weave in those ends. This is such a cute little kitten's head. So this is where we can add a lot of those other crafting details to make it look more like a kitten. So go ahead and grab your glue gun. You can place two googly eyes on the front. You'll use a small amount of a different color of yarn to, and your tapestry needle to create a cute little nose and a smile. And when you're stitching the smile, you can always follow this line of the first, between the first and the second rounds to, to create that nice smile curve and then simply add those whiskers. To finish this out, you will create the whiskers, glue on the googly eyes, and glue also glue on the tail and the head to connect it together. Now it does say that if you like this to hang, you can put a loop on the back. I also think it'd be kind of cute to put a magnet or hear me out, I kind of feel like this would be a really cute coaster. So it's really, really multi-purpose and a great gift for a cat lover. It's a great way to send a cute little note and let someone know you care. Thank you for creating this fun and cute little project with me today. And I hope you stick around for more. Until next time, jump on over to the Annie's website and check out all the cool projects they have. Keep on crocheting and enjoy the rest of your day.